I'm Paul, and this is a Sawyer Spotlight. What's up, everyone? Paul Clark here, again at Sawyer Station in Southern Oregon. I love shooting here. I mean, look at this place. Today we're talking paddleboard paddles, the Sawyer lineup of SUP paddles. So grab a cup of coffee or whatever you're drinking. Let's do this. Sawyer has been building handcrafted paddles and oars for over 50 years. Though paddleboard paddles are relatively new to the Sawyer heritage, they have taken their pursuit of superior design and durability to the SUP world. I've teamed up with them to build my signature river SUP paddle, the Super Stick, a very unique paddle for the unique nature of running rivers on a paddleboard. Including the Super Stick, Sawyer builds four very different SUP paddles all with unique shapes and constructions for the varied places people paddleboard. The storm for paddlers looking for durability and performance while storming the river, lakes, and ocean. <laughs> I promise that's not my line. The mana, a perfect blend of beauty and utility for the discriminating paddler intent on looking good while paddling well. That one is my line. <laughs> The TSR is the Team Sawyer Race SUP Paddle for the paddler focused on efficiency while training, touring, and winning races. And then there's the Super Stick for running rivers and whitewater on a paddleboard. Yep, on a paddleboard. But before we get too deep into the differences, let's learn what they all have in common. First, the Sawyer SUP Paddles come as a series that includes either a fiberglass or a carbon shaft option. Note the TSR comes only as a carbon paddle and the Super Stick Canyon is an all wood shaft. Each series has a fixed grip option based on a U cut length shaft or a quick draw lever lock adjustable grip. If you know your preferred paddle length and you're not loaning your paddle to friends, a fixed grip saves weight and is great for added precision in your paddle stroke. Each series also has a traveler option in both fiberglass and carbon shafts. The Traveler is a three-piece breakdown paddle using the patented tight-set locking mechanism and the quick-draw adjustable grip. If you are hiking into the backcountry, heading to an exotic destination with your board, or needing a spare paddle for that multi-day mission, the Traveler version of any of the Sawyer SUP paddles is a must. All but the Super Stick have an 11-degree rake angle for ease of generating momentum with a long, reaching forward stroke. The Super Stick has a zero rake angle. Its purpose is less about generating forward momentum and more about maneuverability in swift water. And all but the Super Stick have two blade sizes. A small 90 square inch version is for high cadence paddling and the large 100 square inch blade is for more power. The Storm Sup Paddle and the Storm Carbon Pro are unique to the Sawyer lineup. Unlike traditional wooden paddle Sawyer is known for, the Storm is plastic. Well, not just any cheap plastic littering the rivers and oceans of the world. The Storm Blade is CFRT, continuous fiber reinforced plastic that is rigid and durable and made out of recycled materials. The Storm Blade is shaped for power. It's a perfect single paddle for various uses, from storming rivers to lakes to oceans. <laughs> there, I said it again. Like all the Sawyer SUP paddles, there is a fiberglass and carbon option, traveler versions, and the choice of either a fixed grip or quick draw adjustable grip. The Mana is more of a traditional Sawyer paddle. It's a blade with laminated woods, including western red cedar, white ash, dug fir, and ponderosa pine. It's coated in fiberglass and it has a dynel tough edge around the perimeter for impact resistance. There are a couple of artistic layups to choose from with the Mana. The Rip and the VLAM. When asked why they name it the rip, they told me it's because the laminates are begun with a rip cut. That makes sense. And the VLAM is self-explanatory. V's. Like all the Sawyer SUP paddles, there is a fiberglass and carbon option, traveler versions, and the choice of either a fixed grip or quick draw adjustable grip. The Mana's fixed grip is this super cool ash reinforced curled palm grip. Say that three times fast. Super cool ash reinforced curled palm grip. Super cool ash reinforced curled palm grip. The Team Sawyer Race Sup Paddle TSR is an ultralight and highly agile paddle that becomes an extension of your body. Their words, but I like it. This is completely a carbon paddle with an ovalized and tapered shaft for efficiency, control, and weight savings. 
The blade has a cedar core with a carbon and glass coating, CCG. The Ergo fixed grip is lightweight and form-fitting. The entire paddle is lean and mean. You probably won't be loaning this paddle out to friends. However, if you want some adjustability to it, there is a carbon shaft version available to accommodate the quick draw grip. And yes, there is a traveler version for those who want the best performance, regardless of where in the world they're paddling. And finally, the super stick. I talk a lot about this paddle in other videos, so I'll only cover the basics here. You won't find anything else like this on the sub market, but look at the whitewater world and ta-da, you'll see that it's influenced by canoeing and rafting guide sticks. It's about generating leverage for maneuverability in navigating rivers. It's about feathering and ruddering, drawing and bracing. It's super. After a naming contest, we came up with super stick because, well, it's super. S-U-P-E-R, super. <laughs> and it's not just any stick, it's a stick. It's a connection, it's communication. Look it up. Okay, okay, your beverage is probably done. It's been more than a few minutes. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please let me know, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. And I hope to see you on the water soon.